Welcome to the Weakest Link Battle of the Soap special for children in need. Behind me are four of Britain's best loved soap stars who aren't involved in a major storyline at the moment. But can they act like they aren't terrified? Tonight, they'll be playing for the reputation of their soaps, but more importantly, for up to £10,000 for children in need. They'll need to work as a team, but three will have to get out of my pub as round by round we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Max and I play Ben Mitchell on EastEnders. I'm Anthony and I play Sean Tully on Coronation Street. I'm Kirsty Lee and I play Leela Lomax on Hollyoaks. I'm Chris and I play Jay Sharma on Emmerdale. Great set of intros, guys. I've got to say, you saying your own names there, up there with some of your finest performances, so well done. Thank you. Uh, now, normally, I'd tell you the rules, but you're actors, so I'm sure you've had enough time off to watch the show and learn them. So, <laughs> answer your questions right, and don't forget to bank. The target for this round is £5,000, but you've only got 90 seconds, and remember, it's for children in need, so, you know, no pressure. We'll start with the person who's most likely to know what on earth a balm cake is. That is you, Anthony Cotton. Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. In expressions, the abbreviation TGIF stands for Thank God It's What? Friday. Correct. Kirsty. In TV this week, a contestant named Shabira won the 2022 series of which food-based competition show? British Bake Off. I'll accept Great British Bake Off. Chris. In birds, the term for a young goose is what? Ryan or Gosling? Gosling. Correct. Max. Bank. In football officials, the abbreviation VAR stands for Video Assistant What? Referee. Correct. Anthony. In shared names, what P is a town in West Yorkshire and a dog who was in a winning Britain's Got Talent act with his owner Ashley? Pudsey. Correct. Kirsty. In IT, a small plug-in device that can be used for wireless internet access is called a what? Dingle or dongle? Dongle. Correct. Chris. In directions, the name of which of the four main points on a compass is an anagram of the word thorn? Can you repeat it? Yes. In directions, the name of which of the four main points on a compass is an anagram of the word thorn? North? Correct. Max, in music, the title of a 2022 UK top ten hit by the rapper Stormzy is Hide and What? Seek. Correct. And Bank. In organisations, the logo of the National Trust features leaves from what tree? Holly or oak? Oak. Oak is correct. Kirsty, in cinema, which actor and former wrestler stars as a title character in the 2022 action film Black Adam? Pass. Dwayne Johnson. Chris, in shared titles, what sea is both the TV soap set in a motel and a UK number one single by the group Blazing Squad? Yeah. Time's up. The answer was Crossroads. You banked £1,500 out of a possible 5000 I'm going to be honest with you, that was so bad, Puzzy will want to cover his other eye. So, <laughs> whose chances of winning are less realistic than Hollyoaks? <laughs> who thinks Albert Square is a bloke who hates parties? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Well, it's a great start for the Soap Stars. Kirsty Lee was the only player to get an answer wrong. But how will the vote go? Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Chris. 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 Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, why did you vote for Chris? Because Chris hesitated on one and got one wrong, so... Sorry, Chris. Did I get one wrong? I don't think I did Chris just did run out of time. Wrong. I don't think he did get one wrong. He <laughs> was just out of time. So why did everybody else vote Chris, then? Well, I've not spoken to them yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good host, but I'm not telepathic. I've okay, got no idea. <laughs> um, Kirsty, you did get a question wrong. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you're not a fan? Yeah, oh, mate, I'm gutted about that. Soz. Uh, why did you vote for Chris? I know you've noticed you put a little Soz in a... Yeah, cos I am there. Soz, but it's just literally because it took so long in my head, I was like, hurry up, like, pass, at least, or bank, or just say you don't know. Chris? Yeah? How do you feel about Anthony's vote for you? Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed with Anthony, although I did vote for Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I didn't want to vote for Kirsty because she was the only girl. I thought Max has come all the way from London. I didn't want him to think that we were picking on the Southerners if they voted for him as well. Right. And I thought Anthony, I know Anthony really well, so I can he'll probably it take it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll Just be so all right. you know, Chris, it sort of undermines the weakest link if people vote based on travel time. <laughs> Uh, well, listen, I'm sorry to say, Chris, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. I can't go away, that's brutal. <laughs> Chris walking off to that <laughs> tune was unbelievable. Oh, brutal. Loved it. Very dramatic. Uh, we're into round two, guys. You've banked £1,500 so far out of a possible £5,000, and three players are left. You've got 90 seconds, and your target is another £5,000. We're going to start with the strongest link from the last round. That is you, Anthony. Ooh. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. In DIY, a type of paint used in decorating that has a flat finish is called what? Matte or baker? Matt. Correct. Kirsty. In British food, a stew of meat cooked under a layer of sliced potatoes is traditionally known as a Lancashire what? Hup hup. Correct. Max. In shared words, what L is both a run in a pair of tights and a piece of equipment used to climb up and down? A ladder. Correct. Anthony. In UK politics, the MP with the surname Shaps, who became business secretary in 2022, has what first name? Phil or Grant? Grant. Correct. Kirsty. In online messaging, the abbreviation IMHO stands for In My Humble What? Opinion. Correct. Bang. Max. In music, which US-born pop singer has been at UK number one this month with her single Anti-Hero? Ariana Grande. Taylor Swift. Anthony. In climate science, what G that is a type of glass structure is commonly used to describe a gas that traps heat in the atmosphere? Greenhouse. Correct. Kirsty. In literature, the word that goes before park in the title of a Jane Austen novel is what? Mansfield or Weatherfield? Mansfield. Correct. Max. In a common rhyming phrase, something that is exceptionally good is described as being the bee's what? Knees. Correct. Anthony. In TV, the performers Cheddar Gorgeous and Black Pepper are contestants on the 2022 series of which reality show? RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Correct. Kirsty. In tennis, a service that an opponent is unable to return shares its name with what rank of playing card? Mm. Pass. Ace. Max. In the UK Parliament, the seat in the House of Lords reserved for the presiding officer is called the what? Woolsack or Woolpack? Woolsack. Correct. Time is up. Out of a possible £5,000, you put in the bank £1,000. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> meh. Uh, so, <laughs> whose general knowledge is best described as duff duff? Who's setting the Ken bar low? <laughs> wow. <laughs> a good one. Meh. <laughs> 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 that's fair, that's fair. <coughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Anthony was the strongest link because he got the most correct answers. Kirsty Lee and Max both got one wrong, but as we know, it's the votes that count. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Kirsty Lee. Kirsty Lee. Max. Max, why did you vote for Kirsty Lee? Well, Kirsty Lee was the only other person who got a question wrong. Well done, Anthony. Um, so I felt like I had to go that way. Okay, fair enough. Um, Anthony. What I really loved is for the Drag Race question, you gave me the full name of the show. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race UK. I thought you were going to give me the producers for a second. <laughs> I couldn't give you that. Uh, why you did you much. vote for Kirsty Lee? Because Kirsty got a question wrong, it's as simple as that. Sorry, babe. It's and awful. we've had a laugh. Yeah. We have had a laugh. Kirsty, how do you feel about these guys voting for you? Awful. It's just, honestly, just <laughs> not a brain cell between them, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Kirsty Lee, I'm sorry to say that with two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, well, I think we can all agree that um, the Hollyoaks theme tune doesn't quite go with the weakest link walk off as well as the <laughs> no. Emmerdale one does. No, that was <laughs> kind of a triumphant walk off. <laughs> yeah, we'll sort of see you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that is it for part one of the Weakest Link, Battle of the Soaps. Join us later when Max and Anthony go head-to-head -to, -head to prove once and for all which is the only soap worth watching. <laughs> <laughs>
and, you know, to win as much as I can for children in need. See you later. <laughs> Welcome back to The Weakest Link, Battle of the Soaps for Children in Need. Earlier on, four soap stars showed that instead of Weatherfield or Albert Square, they should have starred in Waterloo Road, cos at least it's got a school. But they have raised £2,500 for children in need. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah! No, I didn't think you needed another one. Uh, it always <laughs> felt a bit reckless to hinge charity donations on the general knowledge of soap actors, so we are topping that up to the maximum prize of £10,000. Yeah! Come on, guys. Yes. So, yes! Let's find out who will take the crown as we go head to head. In this round, it's the best of three. Whoever answers the most questions correctly wins. Simple as that. Anthony? Yes. As the strongest link in the last round, you have the choice of who goes first. I'll go first. OK. For the final time tonight, let's play The Weakest Link. Anthony. Yes. The Children in Need Fundraiser of the Year Award, which launched in 2016, is named in honour of which long-term presenter of the show? Sir Terry Wogan. That is correct. Max. In cricket, in 2022, the national team of which Asian country was defeated by England in the final of the T20 World Cup? Pakistan. Correct. Anthony. In literature, the 2022 lifestyle book titled The Light We Carry is by which lawyer and former US First Lady? Michelle Obama. Correct. Max. The official Children in Need singles titled Never Had a Dream Come True and Have You Ever were UK number one hits in consecutive years for which pop group? Boys Don't. It's S Club 7. Anthony, if you get this question correct, you win the game. <laughs> I'm having a nervous breakdown there. <laughs> in international meetings, the 2022 UN Climate Conference, COP27, was hosted by which North African country? All I can think of is what's happening now, and that's Bali, but that's not... That's Indonesia. I can't... I can't, th I can't think of the answer. Nigeria. The correct answer is Egypt. Egypt. Max, you have to get this question correct to stay in the game. No pressure. What is the surname of the Irish-born philanthropist who used the title Doctor and set up a children's home in London in 1870 after being shown the living conditions of East End orphans by a boy called Jim Jarvis? Uh, it's really difficult, is it, because you don't want to pass on the last one, but I honestly have not got a clue. Know this. Do I? Do I know this? Am I just being silly? Don't look at me like that. That's not helping, is it? I honestly have not got a clue. I don't know. I, um, yeah, I, I, I give up. Well done. The, oh, the you know it! The correct answer is Barnardo. Dr Barnardo! Oh, congratulations, out. Anthony! No. Thank you very much. <laughs> You are tonight's strongest link, and you win £10,000 for Pudsey. Yay! Thank you very much. Max, you leave with nothing. No. <laughs> That's all from tonight's Battle of the Soaps for Children in Need. I'm Ramesh Ranganathan, and whatever you do, don't be the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs>